Welcome to Prevent Your Adventure, and today is my second, if you will, revisit of a place I'd been previously. The place I came to today, I did two years ago when I first started doing this, and I've really been thinking about it because I re remember really enjoying the pizza, and I just wanted to see how I felt about it now. Uh, it did quite well, as I recall, and I only recall because of the when I did a Google Maps review, the guy responded. That's that's the part I recall. Like I normally tell you, I don't uh, I don't go back and look. I just want to do it as fresh as I possibly can. So I'm at uh, in, I'm in Natick, Massachusetts, at Square Manufacturing Company, and they do Detroit style pizza. So I got their version of a uh, cheesy garlic bread. And then their version of a pepperoni pizza. And if you know anything about um, Detroit style, the cheese goes on first, and then the sauce, and then the stuff. I don't know. Looks like it goes on top. Looks like that pepperoni is quite well done, which is not really a problem for me. So let's set up this camera and check it out. All right. I'm kind of in the shadows here. Let's see if this light helps. A little bit. Okay. For many of you, I'm probably better off in the shadows. Let's start off with this garlic bread. Very nice with the marinara. I should try it without the marinara first. I, sometimes I mess that up. So if I was to guess, I'd say this is a small pizza with no sauce on it, cheese and garlic and a couple other spices. Crispy outside, very tender and moist inside on the crust. I can't believe my light just died. There's no getting around that. I've got another light. I'll put that on for my wrap up. All right, let's try a piece of this pizza. This is Detroit style. Is a thicker crust. So let me show you. Not quite as thick as Sicilian, but thicker than a typical. Nice chewy crust, crispy on the outer edge. Maybe a little crisp on the bottom. Not maybe. <clears throat> a little crisp on the bottom. Plenty of sauce. Good flavor, good pizza, really good. I don't know of many places in the New England area you can get a true Detroit style pizza. I'm sure they exist. Hopefully I'll get a couple comments on where to find one. Okay, really good second first impression, if that makes sense. Let me finish up, we'll come back and talk about it. Final thoughts, Square Manufacturing Company, Natick, Massachusetts. I thought it might be a chain, but I asked the guy inside and he said, no, it's not a chain. This is their only location. Uh, it's a Monday, 
So I was in and out pretty quick. It's been a couple years, and I think they were fairly new when I came, but there was quite a wait. But I don't know what day of the week it was. I don't I don't remember an awful lot of stuff, so uh, there's only so much I can tell you about that. Right on Route 9, very busy road. Goes from Worcester to Boston, and it keeps going west, but I don't know where all it goes after that. I think up towards UMass and all that. Uh, so, the cheat, first off, there's a lot of food left over, that, that crust is, is extremely filling, so, I got a lot of food for tomorrow night's supper, um, heading off to Rhode Island on, two days from today, on a Wednesday, I'll probably tell you the story again, but uh, I've been fortunate enough to travel to all 50 states. Uh, I've been to the lower 48 states multiple times each. Alaska and Hawaii I've only been to one time each. And I hope to get back to Alaska, Hawaii. It was beautiful, but I'm okay. So, um, I've slept in 49 states. I've literally slept as an adult. Only one state I've never slept in, and uh, that's Rhode Island, which is, the state line is about three to four miles from my house. And you say, why haven't you slept in Rhode Island? It's like, why? Uh, it's a small state. It takes maybe an hour or an hour and a half to get from one extreme end to the other extreme end. So, just always easy to come home and go to bed. So, two days from now, I'm going to um, deal with that situation in my head and sleep in Rhode Island. And uh, I've got a burger place all lined up I want to try. And maybe the next day for lunch, I have another place. So, we'll see how that goes. But anyhow, back to square manufacturing because that's what this video is about. Uh... Cheesy garlic bread. I really liked it. I really did. Nice flavor, nice texture, nice crust. Plenty of cheese. The sauce was really nice that I dipped it into. I ate that whole thing. That was pretty much my meal, plus a piece of pizza. And the pizza, I really, really liked the pizza also. I just found it to be flavorful, uh, nicely done. I, I love that crisp around the, the outside on that crust. Uh, just really enjoyed both of these things. They had a funky hot pizza in there, and I thought about it as a, instead of the garlic bread, but I don't know. Can't do hot like I used to. All right, let's give her a score. Zero to ten. I mean, it's, I would, obviously I'd come back again. This is my second time. It's over an hour from my house. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, I, I would recommend it to anyone who's asking for something to try in this area. So i got to go 9.1 um, based on the scoring rubric. <laughs> Sorry, a little teacher coming out there. <laughs> based on the scoring. So Square Manufacturing Company. Natick, Massachusetts, right on Route 9, not very far from the Natick Mall. All the action up here on Route 9, just about every kind of store you can imagine, I think. Uh, 9.1.